<coughs> How are we doing guys? Happy Christmas. Oh, it's Boxing Day. Or the day after. What day is it now? In between that period of whatever it's Monday, Wednesday, whatever. Anyway. Today's bit of video is about uh, the Secret Santa challenge. Is it a challenge or gift it? Gift the Jimmy What's It thing that uh, Richard Williams did, aka Dudes Brews. Uh, <coughs> I received a couple of beers. I don't know who they're from. Um, all I can say is I did get some stuff that come with them. So here we go. So, first of all, they're from Beer and Sloughing. Um, there's a chat there with a, there's a beer and a barbecue, my kind of standard. Like what I like to do. So I've got some stickers, very nice beer mats, and that says uh, beer sloughing at beer and sloughing. I did try googling it, I didn't really find anything other than the chat who is. So I received uh, three beers in total, which was really surprising. I wasn't expecting to get that many. Um, Slight issue with some of the bottles. Um, the labels uh, got were damp and wet when I got the bottles turned up. Um, I don't know if it's just the condensation on the bottles because they were cold. But the ink, the ink rang a little bit and the, the packaging must have rubbed when it was in the, in the box. So we've got this one called Look Up To The Skies And See. I, mean, I imagine that's like the Northern Lights, which I'd like to go and see. Um, it's, it looks like it says a Pilsner, but I can't tell what anything else says on it, unfortunately. Um, so that was beer one. And then we've got a second beer, and this is uh, Wide to the West, and it's a West Coast IPA. The West Coast IPA, celebrating rugby league's greatest ever. Chris Johns, I don't know, I've probably spelt that, meant, meant said that wrong. Chris Johns, wide to the west, try against Bradford. So I'm assuming he's from up north then. So it's we, uh, so it'd be like St Helens, and Bradford, um, all them areas, Hull, I don't know, Hull KR, you know. So that's a lot of rugby up north, more than there is where I live. <clears throat> uh, it doesn't tell me what the ingredients are. Um, if it did, then unfortunately it kind of led into a ready coloured I think the red ink must have had the red ink either on this one or that one and it kind of bled into it but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter also I managed to get this one as, as well and this is a 11% ABV um, it's a stout imperial stout carnival brewing company um, I think I've seen these on beer 52 I've never had one before um, but that would be quite an interesting one. Um, let's just put that there for now. So I've got my glass. It's Keynes, Robert Keynes Brewery of Liverpool. Obviously they no longer exist, so it's a bit of a vintage glass, this one. So let's stick that there and we'll go for the look up to the skies and see. Not much of a hiss there, but a little bit of one. Let's go pour it, shall we? Here we go. It might be in bulk condition. Not sure. Right, let's just put that down. So, we've got kind of like a golden haze kind of look at it, to it. A um, little bit of a, if I split it up to the light, it's kind of like an amber, yeah, quite amber looking. And tell you what, although it didn't have much of a hiss to it, there was really good carbonation. I can see it streaming up the glass and I put it into the light. Uh, it's got a one finger head, although I have got reasonably large fingers, so, you know. Slight malt aroma to it. I'm really crap at doing beer views. But 
Mm. I'm getting a hunk of honey, almost like a honey taste to it. Um, about there, shall we? There we go. Hunk of honey. Um, yeah, so there's kind of some kind of Goldings hops going on there. Um, yeah, it's really good. Um, it's got a nice, nice mouthfeel to it. Um, there's a malt. You're getting the malts behind it. I don't know if it's um, just Marisotta, I don't know. Kind of got that marisotta -y type of thing going to it. Um, could just be a bit of crystal in there. No, that's a bit too light for that. But yeah, it's uh, it's a really good beer. Um, I, oh, I also come with some... Um, Sony Dog Nuts. Naturally nutty. Oh, God, open this. Mm. Not so good. So yeah, it's quite a nice drink. Quite refreshing. Um, a little bit hazier than I thought it was going to be. I don't know if it's just because I stirred it up or whatever. Who knows? I don't really care. Tastes good. It looks good. Um... Yeah, I'd drink this if I had it on you know, my local pub. I'm kind of getting honey, kind of orangey flavours going on there. I think I know which hop it is, but I'm not going to condemn myself to because there's so many hops these days. It's just I'm guaranteed to get it wrong. I think it's got a bit of a German hop thing going on there. Um, I'm not sure what yeast is in there. Probably something like an SO5 or something like that. I'm only guessing. SO4. Oh, and the ABV. If I can see that. So I've got no to put it down myself then. So I've got a V on the sticker on the piece of paper. But it doesn't really tell me. So I'm assuming it's around about four. Four percent, four and a half. Um It's a German Pilsner. I know it's German. I can just tell by the flavours, but I can't tell by anything else because it's missing. But yeah, it's definitely uh, definitely got a German vibe about it. Um, yeah, it's a good beer. Um, a nice, refreshing beer, ale, uh, Pilsner, sorry. Um, So what is that hop? I'm gonna have to look at my book, hang on. Now looking in my little book, I've got a feeling it might be Pearl or Pearly, how you pronounce it, the hops in this. Or I don't know if it's tech name. Excuse me, or Herber Brooker. Oh, I pronounced that so wrong. Oh, got a bit of gas there, it won't be milk proof. Anyway, I might have said the right one. I do like the old pearl hop, and it does kind of remind me of that a little bit. But it's a good effort. Um, like I say, I'd definitely drink that again. Um, big shout out to Do's Brews for setting all this up. Um, last year, I don't think I got one, but oh, there's a fuck up. Some did I just swear? There was a cock up somewhere. Um, 
But hey, it's been worth it this year. I sent one out at 10%, sorry, 11% stout. Um, Martin Underwood it went to, I can't remember there. Anyway, cheers dudes. See what I did there. I'll catch you in a bit. Bye-bye.